Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over how I created my sculpt setup, which is the foundation that I use for all my tiling textures in ZBrush. Uh, I showed this in my overlap sculpt workflow. People had questions about how I created it, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did. So I'm going to start with a polygon plane. It's facing positive Z. I have all my sculpts face positive Z. Uh, this way if I need to kit bash in between them, uh, they're all consistent. I'm going to scale it 4 by 4 and divide it 8 by 8. So now I have a plane that is 4 units by 4 units, broken up into half unit polygons. I'm going to delete the outer row. And now if I select the center, this is my 2 unit by 2 unit sculpting area, and then I have a half unit buffer zone. I'm going to duplicate it and just move it in front a little bit. doesn't matter how far. Grab the center and get rid of the next row. Get rid of the two bands in the center. Remove these vertices. And now I have my frame and my sculpt plane. Before I export the ZBrush, I want to make sure my sculpt plane has UVs. What I want to do is take the center part, the 2 unit by 2 unit tiling area, and I want to map that 0 to 1. With all my UVs selected, I'm going to right click on the Snap Selected UVs to User Specified Grid, set it to 16 by 16 and hit Apply. And what that did is it snapped the UVs to the closest grid point. Now that I have my frame and sculpt plane, I'm going to export two separate OBJs to take into ZBrush. I'm going to export my frame, export my sculpt plane, and now I'm ready for ZBrush. Okay, now I'm going to import my frame. I'm going to import my sculpt plane. I'm going to select the frame, drag it into canvas. Under subtool, append, and I'm going to append the sculpt plane into the frame tool. The reason it's important to do it in that order is that the wrap mode is going to be based on the frame and not the sculpt plane. Subdivide my mesh. And with wrap mode set to 1, you'll be able to paint a tiling texture. And any edge crinkling will happen in this buffer zone and not on the tiling edge. And if you want to get this tiling texture out of ZBrush, you can select the frame, hit F, get rid of the frame, and there you go, tiling texture. Okay, now that I have my sculpt setup saved out, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I created UVs in Maya before I brought it into ZBrush. As part of my sculpting, sometimes I use tiling textures, tiling alphas, tiling height maps to displace on the plane. So here I have an alpha loaded, I can go to the masking, go to mask by alpha, and now I have a tiling mask. I'm going to drop in the deformation, I can deform based on that, and then I go back to masking and clear the mask, and there you go. And once again, if you want to get out the tiling texture, you can just go to the frame, and then hide the frame, and you're good to go. Okay, well, that's it. That's my scope setup. I uh, hope you guys find that helpful.